It's a really rainy morning this morning. It's no fun at all. Good morning, Ruby. Johnny and I went to drink um, some Califia, or as my friend told me this weekend, Califia uh, coffee drink this morning, and it was spoiled. I don't know how that almond milk could spoil. It's quite perplexing. I think the expiration date was February. So at any point, if we want some caffeine this morning, it's a Starbucks kind of a day. I don't know how we're managing to do it, Johnny, but it looks like we're gonna get to school on time. I agree. Yeah, navigation saying 723. And uh, we're making reasonable progress, but it's nasty out there this morning. It's 53 degrees, but it's pretty rainy. Is it Friday yet? All right, buddy, have a good day. I'll probably be the one picking you up. Okay, love you. Love you too. Love you. Love you, buddy, have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye. These are the only two Teslas, the only two Model 3s left over here at the Target parking lot in Garner. All the rest that went all the way up the line over here, they're, they've been moved, sold, they're gone. It stopped raining for now, so that's nice. I caught a Finneon Pokemon at Home Depot in front of the garden center. He's new to my Pokedex and kind of rare so far. And I'm home now and it's time for some breakfast. You guys stay and dry over here. That's good. I wish I could tell you that I got a ton of stuff done at the house today, but alas, I cannot say that. It's still raining out there. I don't think it stopped at all. And um, Don and I were snuggled up on the love seat. We had Bjorn's um, one of his road trip videos on up on the TV. We were watching it and the next thing I know we were both sound asleep. That's not a reflection on Bjorn. That's just the kind of day it is today. Um, so I'm going to pick up Johnny now. I had pinged Michelle to see if she wanted to go shopping because robotics doesn't start back up until next Thursday. Um, there are no clubs meeting at the school today, but Michelle and I agreed that it was just too messy out there and we want to give Guardian Angel a chance to put out new merchandise um, after the inventory and we'll go next week. So probably Tuesday of next week we'll, we'll go. But I'm on my way to pick up Johnny and we do have to go pick up the farm order today at Whole Foods, rain or not. I wish I could just send Johnny in for the farm order and drop him off and pick him up at the door, but kind of need some other stuff in there today. It'd be really hard to go until Tuesday without it. I'll see. I'll see how hard it's raining and I'll make a last minute call over at Whole Foods which way it's going to go. Johnny said he has not been up front with me using Navigate on autopilot. That's because we're never out on the interstate. You might remember Michelle's been with me like when we've been going to restaurants and carry and had to get on us1 or 440 for a little bit so i said okay even though it's just a few mile hop down to whole foods so we're coming up on that really weird 440 i40 us1 64 exit where people on the right have to get left and people on the left have to get right and it'll be interesting to see what she does here I don't believe I've received any instructions yet about what I'm supposed to do. Oh, she put on the turn to go the uh, to stay left here. Why would she do that? Well, mostly she did that though on her own. I knew we didn't want to go there, but I thought I would have considered this the lane we were in 
And she handled that okay. I haven't, I'm not doing anything. She's lowered the speed down. But let's see what she's going to do up here because I have to get right at this split. Confirm lane change to follow route. I'm confirming the lane change even though I forgot and hit the signal all the way over. Luckily, there was no one there this time. She's slowing down. Oh, I must have jerked it a little bit too hard. She was trying really hard to slow down to make that curve, but you know, we're in a clover leaf loop here and <laughs> she uh, and I, we just didn't quite jive there. We'll get back to end nav on autopilot in a minute. So we're through the clover leaf. I put her back on autopilot. Um, we're merging onto US 1 here and we're on here until our exit. She's putting the turn signal on herself there to make sure we stayed in that lane. Yeah, her etiquette for, well, you can go, Ruby, if you're going, go. So that's twice she put on the turn signal but actually stayed in the lane and or didn't move over. I mean, there was nobody there I was watching in the rear view mirror. She never put up a red line to indicate that she couldn't go. And she wants me to take Harry Parkway and go in the back way again. Which is really not my preferred method for getting into Whole Foods. So I'm probably going to cancel out of that. She did that the other day. I don't like going over the speed bumps at the back of the Whole Foods parking lot. Alright, Ruby. So I'm bumping up the speed to 65 before I get run over. She really, to do that the way a human driver would, she needs to bump it up to 65 about a half a mile before it turns to 65. So she stays in traffic with the other drivers. But I'm going to go ahead and take her out of Navigate on Autopilot because uh, I don't want to take Cary Parkway. I'm past the Cary Parkway exit. I'm back in autopilot. I'm going to take the Tryon Road exit up here, which she realizes is the next exit. It's not the A exit, but the B exit. I'm already in the right lane, so she won't have to change lanes to do that. She does indicate with the little steering wheel that she should be able to handle that exit. but she's, I still haven't touched the brake. She is still handling the exit ramp. I haven't done anything here but steer. And she handled it just nicely, slowing down properly for it. Hopefully she'll speed back up here. Not as fast as I want her to speed back up coming off and trying to merge, but... Okay, so she says I'm doing the max of 40, but it's a 45 zone. I used to stop to bump it up to 47. And I think she did okay there. So, are there more kids at school today? Yes, by like three times. Okay, so most of the kids were at school. That's good. And uh, you got any homework? Yes. What do you have? Math homework. But it's not due till Monday, right? Right. Yeah, because you don't have math tomorrow on your every other day schedule. All right, well, um, sorry about the homework, but at least it's not due tomorrow. We're uh, at Whole Foods now. We're going to go in and get our groceries, and it's not raining. Yay! Please don't be raining when we come out with the groceries either. <laughs> I knew the holiday was over, and there's no eggnog left. Johnny.
Johnny was very pleased with the hot bar selections today. Somebody parked next to Ruby. I loaded everything up in the front again. I don't see any Teslas in the parking lot today. None, zero, nada. Well, except for but Just Ruby. like last time we were here, Donnie, everybody's in the left-hand lane to make the left turn, but this lane is also a turn lane, so I went straight to the front. Yay! Hey, Donnie. Hey, pretty girl. You hit it off on your run? Yep. Does that off. mean you're yep. not helping me with the groceries? Yep. I had trouble with my ear. I had to go back to the other ones. I couldn't get those white ones to pair. Huh. Those white Bluetooth ones of yours, I couldn't get it to work. I wasted a lot of time. All I'm right. I'm sorry. It got late on me. I love you. Bye. Bye. Guess we got extra, Johnny. Yep. Is mom wearing you out? Yes. But I helped with homework. Yes, he did. Yeah, Johnny's learning about the Pythagorean theorem and the distance formula. He started ninth grade math now, essentially. And uh, so we cranked that on out because I remember all that stuff. And uh, he helped me up and down the attic stairs quite a few times with boxes. So thanks, bud. Appreciate the help. And then we got Taekwondo in 40 minutes. Oh, joy. <laughs> Don took Johnny to Taekwondo for me. And I... Uh, Made a good bit of progress in putting things away. The little winter village is staying up for another couple weeks because I like it. But I feeling uh, I am feeling pretty good about the progress that I made. I got the chair back where it belongs. The tree's gone. The floor is vacuumed. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm on my way to pick Johnny up from Taekwondo now. And we're supposed to get another inch of rain tomorrow. Yay! Not. Yes, Ruby, put the seat back where it belongs. 111 miles today. So, Donnie, were you in any way surprised that with the uh, federal tax rebate being cut in half to $37.50, that Tesla mm. reduced the price on their uh, new cars? No. Right. I wasn't surprised either, by the way. Yeah, I'm surprised. Um, look, Tesla has been building the Model S for, what, six years? The Model... X for four years. Um, by now, you should have squeezed some cost out of that, either that or their line. Okay, and um, now you could say that uh, maybe there's challenges with the Model Three, especially since they haven't been able to build the thirty-five thousand dollar car. Uh, maybe there isn't quite the savings there. You know, in other words, they're still working out various different processes on that and trying to improve them. But they've had plenty of time on the S and the X. So I'm actually uh, have been saying that they should have been cutting their prices on the S and X for a while. And I'm sure it's the push for the um, margins. You know, they don't, they want to get this 30% margin. And because that just, you know, I think GM runs with like a 3% margin. So, you know, they just want to be 10 times, I guess, what everybody else makes. So we'll see. Yeah, well, we had seen a few articles talking about it, and I'm like, if you're surprised, I don't know why. <laughs> well, the thing that got me last year, Cadillac announced a $600 price increase on, on their top-selling Cadillac, whatever it was. And I said, you know what Tesla should have done at that instant is announced a $600 price increase. <laughs> I per Every time somebody in the auto industry announces a price increase on their models. Tesla should just simply announce a price decrease on their models. And then uh, that would basically either uh, send a lot more business Tesla's way, positive press, or uh, maybe the people who were wondering, well, why is, so all these people supposedly are great at building cars, why do their prices always go up? And yet this one that everybody says, all oh, these people can't buy cars, their prices seem to go get better. So, uh, you know, let the customers decide which way that works. So, uh, hopefully they'll, you know, I, I hope they continue to cut the prices. I, I think, um, you know, the only reason that we all aren't driving electric cars, obviously besides we can't, probably can't build enough batteries right now, is they are still price premium. And gas at $2.06 a 
cents a gallon, uh, you know, that doesn't help. 